Hi, I'm Chris Thomas with In City Magazine, and it's a pleasure to be uh, in front of you today. Uh, today we have Demetrius Curry with the Demetrius <laughs> Curry Insurance brand. Uh, uh, I've seen uh, insurance wellness strategists. Yes. Uh, introduce yourself to us. <laughs> Hello everyone, Demetrius Curry. I'm an insurance strategist, wellness agent. Thank you for joining us. Demetrius, um, insurance wellness strategist. Yes. Explain that to us. Well, it's a all around approach to a circumstance for my clients. We look at all of their insurance needs from beginning to end and we make sure everything that they need is suitable for what we put them in. And so it's a more customized approach to insurance carriage and also for production and retirement in the future. Okay. Now I took a look at your bio and was really moved with the reasons you entered into the insurance industry. Um, can you share that with our audience? Thank you. Well, many years ago, um, I lost my grandfather. Uh, in high school and my mom who is a only child for my grandfather at the time she had to really get into paying for his funeral arrangements he didn't have any coverage uh, we had to relocate him from Florida to Alabama and as a single mother it was a stress a continual stress on her uh, to come up with the money to do so and so it was my first look of what happens when you lose a loved one and you don't have coverages in place and you don't have things already set up for your family. And so from pulling money from credit cards to savings accounts to letting bills lapse, all of that came into play when it was time to for put his arrangements into place. So it was my first look at insurance and it sort of started the whole area of what do you do, how do you begin, and how do you prepare for the future. Do, do many families find themselves in that situation? Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of people are in that position where they think that they have more time to do it or they have a little bit more, you know, discretionary income they can get to later. And sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Sometimes it doesn't. I was noticing a post that you posted on uh, social media, you know, some days ago mm -hmm. um, about the, the top seven reasons people uh, don't uh, invest or buy life insurance. Right. And I think, uh, you know, I just looked at it again today, mm -hmm. there were two other people who put number eight and nine, yeah. and I love your responses, oh, you, you know, to them. Thank you. Um, you know, what are your, I mean, what can families do to, to uh, prepare? you know, themselves and they say they can't afford it. Mm -hmm. I think uh, affordability, trust, mm -hmm. you know, is another. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was, I mean, all of them were important, but tell us some of the things that, that families can do. Well, one thing they can do is first of all, look at their finances. You know, there are many areas in their finances that they can probably do away with to do the most important things that need to be done. You know, tweak a little bit in those areas. And if you feel like you just need some insurance just for burial purposes, get some quotes on that. Talk to your insurance agent and make sure whoever you're working with that exactly. they know what your goal is. If they know what your goal is, they can know besides death, death insurance or maybe more than that that they're looking for. They could be looking for something to pay off a home or uh, possibly you know, leave to their children or even create a nest egg for themselves to live off of. Insurance is not just for you to leave behind, it's also for you to use when you're living. So there are products out there that will allow you to do that. So it just really depends on what the product is and what the agent can provide for them. But if they need something customized based off of their needs, then they need to really be a little bit more in detail about that. Trust was another big one. Mm -hmm. And um, I noticed that that many of your testimonies, that you have so many videos that are out there about testimonials for individuals who have worked with you. Yes. And that was one of the biggest things that many of them insinuated that they could trust you and that yes. you were their friend. Mm -hmm. And um, 
what makes, since trust is a big deal, right. you know, when it comes to insurance and, and trusting the insurance agent and mm -hmm. also the, the company, mm -hmm. what makes you different than others who are in the same industry? I think the main thing is listening. I mean, you have one mouth and two ears for a reason. And in this particular industry, you have to listen. If you open up your ears and listen with your heart with your client, find out exactly what their needs are, then basically go from that point. If you are not really geared towards what their needs are and you're geared towards pushing a product or just pushing a sale or just want to get that right now premium, that right now money, sometimes agents do that and it puts them in a bad situation with the client that later on they lose their trust. But if you put their needs first, then that trust will automatically come because they feel like they can count on you, they can call you for questions, you're always accessible. All of that is vitally important when you're living with the livelihood of something like insurance. Do many people, uh, you, do you think that many people are aware that that once an, a life insurance pays out, mm -hmm. that it's, uh, you know, for, we, we will hope that it don't pay out because mm -hmm. uh, uh, that means that someone had, that loved one has to have passed. Mm -hmm. But um, do you think many people know that life insurance is actually tax-free money? Mm, no. <laughs> and I think because it's how it's paid for, um, depend on who pays it, if it's the insured or the beneficiary or who's ever paying for it. It depends on how it's paid for and how tax-free it is. But I think what the problem is, traditionally people think that life insurance is only for when you die. It's only going to pay out if someone passes, and that's not necessarily true. It isn't? No. Explain no. that for we me. We have other products on the market that are geared towards things like key man insurance. Uh, key man insurance is one of those things where a company may put it on an employee, uh, maybe their top person, their general agent or general manager, that keeps the ball rolling in that company and they can put insurance on that particular person and say, hey, you stay with me for 20, 25 years, we will cash out this policy for you, withdraw it off of there, and you can use those funds as a withdrawal, as a retirement piece. So he didn't have to pass for it to pay out, but that particular policy is a key man insurance where he's the insured, and of course, the company is the owner. That's key man insurance, very mm -hmm. great information. How yeah. about individuals who are you know, uh, teachers, uh, manufacturer workers, yes. um, medical industry, s works for the state or the yes. federal government, mm -hmm. you know, income anywhere between, you know, 35 mm -hmm. to upwards to, you know, $150,000 annually. Yes. Are there, I mean, they're not necessarily key men right. or key individuals with companies. Mm -hmm. However, are there products for them to, to, uh, use prior to yes. uh, passing or absolutely okay absolutely and regardless of your your range of income there is a approach that we can use for that but you do not have to be a, a company to own it you can be an individual you know worker you can be a teacher you can be a business owner you can be all of those things have this same type of insurance customize it in such a way what it will allow you to not only have you know, cash you can pull off of it, tax advantaged later on in life for retirement, to buy your own home, to buy your own franchise, to buy all kinds of things that you can use those monies for. But in addition to that, you can build it as a retirement piece or a long-term care piece, where if anything was to happen to you medically, it'll pay you some money off of those chronic and terminal illnesses as well. So there's a lot of ways we can customize it based off of the approach. Okay, mm -hmm. we're counting down uh, towards the, the end of the video, but there was one other thing that mm -hmm. I wanted to discuss. I saw uh, you make mention about uh, life insurance on children, yes. and you gave an example of your son, yes. uh, what you and your husband have done you know, right. for your son. Mm -hmm. So uh, many of our listeners have children. Yeah. You know, what can we do to prepare and be able to use those funds you know, okay. for them? Well, you know, a lot of people are look at insurance like the term, the whole life, but there's also index products that cost just as nice as the whole life. Not as much 
insurance that you can actually cover with it, but you can pull a lot of things out of that insurance. I mean, you can use it for college funding, you can allow them to use it later on in life to maybe build their own company, buy their own land, their own home, and that's one of the things that we did for my son. We went ahead and bought him a policy years ago, extra fund, put some extra funds into it to overfund it, allow him to have a death portion to it, and also a cash portion to it, what we call a cash accumulation account. It's a very aggressive savings for the children, but they can use it later on in life any way they choose. Amazing information. <laughs> and, and I'm sure, that I'm confident that, yes. uh, that you know, our audience is, is gonna find so much uh, wealth of information. And, and unfortunately, you know, time doesn't allow us to go into a whole lot more detail, yeah. but um, our audience, um, we're gonna have listed below or either below uh, here right now or on the back end uh, information about how to contact Demetrius Curry and also share that right now as well yes. Demetrius yes. with our audience. Yes, please visit me at DemetriusCurry.com. Uh, you can also uh, enforce this with me on Facebook and Instagram and also YouTube. Sounds great. All Thank right. you so much Demetrius. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for coming through. This is uh, you know, In City Magazine always brings you the, uh, the tips, the secrets um, to make your life, including your family's life, much better. So continue to keep tuning in to In City Magazine. Thank you very much. Demetrius, thank you again. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.